Vous avez soif? J'ai quoi pour vous rafraîchir? I didn't know the word for literacy when I first got interested into literacy. It happened in December 2008 when I was watching a World Vision uh, commercial and they said that they were a Christian organization and I didn't know that they were. And um, so I got my Bible out and I started reading it at the same time thinking that could be a very important moment in my life. Maybe it could have been. And it was. Um, and I read You Have to Take Care of Orphans and Widows. And that's what I was seeing on the screen, which was a mother trying to find scraps of food for her children. And for the first time, I realized how important education was. And that if she knew what her local community was doing, or if she could read at the market, or if she could um, know what's going on in the world, then she could most likely be able to provide better for her family. And so then I started doing discoveries about what that's called and it took a year and a half for me to focus more and a friend talked to me about local Bible translators and when I went on the website then I saw literacy, a description of it and just felt that that's exactly what I was called to do. And how it came about to PNG or Papua New Guinea is that um, I studied at the Canada Institute of Linguistics in summer 2011 and there was different people who had been working in Papua New Guinea and just hearing their stories and just the great need that is there. Um, it's one of the possibilities out of a uh, few countries that I could go and serve. So all this training that I was able to get at Kenail really prepared me for going to the field and learning different language learning techniques and the different sounds of all the languages so that my ear can get in tune with that and also just the literacy training that I received. It was really nice to have connected with Melanie um, through the language and culture acquisition class. And in my class, I saw Melanie's interest and just a great deal of motivation in learning a variety of language and culture learning techniques. Melanie successfully completed the literacy training track here at CanIL, and we're really excited for her as she heads out to Papua New Guinea. So Papua New Guinea has about 841 languages, and more than half still don't have scriptures in their mother tongue. And the province that I will be going to, which is the Medang province, has about 164 languages just in that province. My assignment in Papua New Guinea will consist of two years of literacy internship. I will be with another woman who's been there for 20 years, and our task will be to build a regional literacy project from grassroots. And so different tasks that we will have will be to do uh, meetings with other organizations to know what they've done literacy-wise and what's worked and what hasn't worked because we don't need to reinvent the whole wheel. And we'll also be doing some computer workshops and English workshops and storybook um, story writing workshops. What I hope to see come out of this is there's different things. There's of course the verse in it's in Revelations 5:9 that people from every tongue, tribe, and nation will be united in heaven. And when I think about that, how amazing that is that people from all over the world will have heard of Jesus and be able to be in heaven and praise Him. I just want to be a part of that and so my heart goes out to all these people and of course I can't help them all but by at least helping one group then maybe that that's the impact that was needed there and so I just really want to be used by God and at the same time I want to see everyone have the opportunity to uh, hear about Jesus. Jesus.